What is it? I don't know. Crikey's! What is that? Hey, Dad! Have you seen my other shoe? What? Oh, yeah. Now you're getting the picture. And then we got the bearing. The push, thrust, blush bearing, whatever you want to call it, the thing. For the, for the clutch. You guys know what this is, right? It's a clutch! First things first. We gotta put the ring gear back on, John. And it's like, hey, how do you do it? I have no idea. But I saw some videos and they tell you, you gotta heat it up. And you gotta take this edge that it goes on, clean it up a little bit. Make sure there's no crap brie on there and uh, make sure your ring is gonna sit nice and tight. And the ring also has an in and out. You can see the damaged part is uh, gnawed up by the starter. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Worse. 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 We're going to throw her back on and crank that mother over. It's going to be fun. Yeah, you know, some people say you take that edge, you clean it up with the disc grinder. And you polish the crap out of it and take a few gouges out. Well, we're not going to do that. That's just stupid. What I have... It's this piece of steel wool. That's all I have left. That's what I'm going to clean it with. Just polish it up a little. I mean, it was clean to begin with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And there's a rough edge here. Hmm. Hmm. It feels a little hacky there. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Feels pretty clean. Except for that one spot. That one spot is a bag of suck right there. Found one of these in the back alley before. Might as well try and use it. Now, where was the rough spot? There's nothing sticking on. Yeah, I think she's good. It's a nice file. All right, boys. Listen up. Listen good. This is how it's going to go down. I got the table over here with the ring gear. I'm going to torch the living crap out of it until it's glowing red. Almost. It's going to expand like your belly after Thanksgiving dinner. And then when we set it on here, and this thing's all nice. Look over here. This thing's nice and cold. We're going to set it on there, and it's going to start shrinking and shrinking until it seats itself right on there. And it will never come off again. Amen! So, hold fast. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. I'm gonna use these big fat welding gloves to put it on there because I wanna burn my hands. They're sensitive. <laughs> gonna play with fire. Might as well record it. <laughs> and I can't trust my re uh, oxygen regulator. So I have to first um, fire this up. There you go. We got flames! <laughs> Now I turn on my oxygen, and then, oh, of course, of course. All right, now we got some torchage. The best bet is to flip your thing over this way so you don't want to accidentally torch the damn thing. I don't know, something like that will make it freaking hot. Just want to make sure <laughs> I have the right side up. Do some thinking first, it's correct. Last thing you want to do is put it on wrong because uh, that would suck. Some of these you can flip these flops to get a new ring, but I don't know if you can do it with this one. So we're going to put it back on the way it was because all is well. If you're ever torching on a pail, make sure the pail is open and empty because they can explode with a little bit of heat. Do this for about three, four hours. Probably go through a few tanks, and that'll make it all good. And toast it, and it heats your garage. Saves on natural gas. Wait a minute, this is for natural gas, you moron. So whatever you do, don't touch it to see if it's hot enough. Just make assumptions. It's been how many minutes now? Do it for a few minutes, or until your back gets tired. <laughs> They also say don't put it on a steel table because uh, you're going to have to heat up the whole table in order to get it hot enough. Prop it up on something that has very little contact, like a rack. Now you can't see it, but it's getting bigger. You can't see it from your angle. <laughs> I'll probably not edit this video at all. Probably just 
show you the whole thing. Me going round and round and round and round and round and round. And it's, it's fun. It's fun watching people torch stuff. So why would I edit any of it? That's a lot of work. Edit things. Yeah, okay, one more round and I'm gonna give her a try. We're doing this for the last six minutes. She's gotta be on and off by now. My back hurting. All right, let's give her a try. Winder. Such a winder. Don't forget to put your gloves on because this thing is freaking hot. Don't touch your face against it. What hurt? Okay, it's the big fat gloves. I'm gonna try and move the camera at the exact same time. I can't do that. Here, I'll swing it over. And then I'll carry it over. And you guys can watch and learn something or not. Oh, look at that. Who's with the freak on there? I'm kind of surprised. It's, it's like extremely loose. <laughs> I wonder if I made it too hot. I don't know, boys. What do you think? It's, it's just spinamajigging. And it's supposed to shrink on here now. But... Yeah, so I guess three hours of heating is a little too much. We might have actually changed the temperance of the metal or something. I have no idea. I'm not a rocket science guy. Still pretty loose. You can hear it rattle. And they say don't pour water on it. Don't cool it off quickly. Just let it do its thing. Oh, I can start to feel it grabbing a little bit. It'll... It'll tighten up. The spinning is kind of like if there's any little grit in there, it might just wash it out so that there's nothing in between your ring gear and your metal. Yeah, it's starting to grab now. Push her down. Yeah, she's she's seating, boys. There, she is on. <laughs> and that's what we call a bob imagine. <laughs> yeah. And remember, it's still pretty freaking hot. Yeah. So don't touch it without big fat fat gloves on like a polar bear or something all right just don't touch this without the big paws <gasps> don't forget to turn off the gas and stuff we don't want shit to leak this one's expensive that one's expensive i don't like buying gas you can't fix stupid